Okay, so today we are going to be using one of these to pour the paint on top of and the paint is going to run down and make a pretty pattern. This is the bottom of a can of Pepsi, kindly donated by my friend Cheryl. So all we do is you pour in the middle and watch the pretty patterns start to form. Now you can do this with just one colour at a time. See how you can move it slightly over to make it faster down one particular, call it petal for lack of another word. You can also wet the canvas first. Ooh, I think I've got a few gloggy bits in that paint. This is mostly leftover paint, so it's a bit of everything. So we just keep pouring. Now you don't have to just pour in here, you can also pour around here to make a few patterns or make it a bit wet or whatever you want to do. So for instance, I can pour around here. Now I didn't wet this canvas first, but I can do it afterwards. So it's a handy little trick you can do, is if your paint isn't flowing properly, this is for a pour or whatever, just spread out the paint a bit and it'll flow better. Oops. That'll come out in the wash. Still, that's what I get for trying to stretch around a bit. more pouring. See, you can stop and start. Now that was a bigger swathe of colour, as you can see. There we go. Now I'd like a bit more paint, so I'm just going to add it to my cup now. Now because these are all leftover paints, some of them have oil, some of them don't, it's all very, very random. So you can not use any, and then it looks pretty much how you see, or you can use some and then you'll get cells throughout. There we go. We've still got some tilting to do as well in just a minute. Even them up. Okay. Now we'll just let that drip down for a minute. Now I did put some little raised sections so it'll be a little easier to take off. Now you don't want it to drip, so just hold it over for a second. made a little bit of a pattern there. You can just drop some paint in the centre if you want a centre spot. to do in the centre, rather than just drop a little bit of paint, which I should have done the first time. Make sure tree ring pour, which is sort of like what we were doing, but more official. Okay, so you hold it up, and you aim for one spot, and you keep it on that one spot. My hands shake a little bit, so not quite. It. Gentle 
I'm going to keep it all going in the same direction. I shouldn't have tilted it the other way. Okay, just trying to even up that centre bit to where I want it to be. Okay, then you just check the edges. There's always a bit that doesn't have it. Time to do edges is now, not later. There you go, an abstract flower.